hello friends today i'm going to show you how to configure data file full issue uh, in microsoft sql server when we don't have third party monitoring tools handy then we have to configure native alerts in sql server today i'm going to create that scenario and how i need to get alert and everything we will i uh, will show you okay for that i'm going to create a database called text now if you just refresh here our database got created so uh, i don't know uh, like what are the size and everything right so for that i'm just closing all this one sir windows okay now if, if i see this window here okay now uh, it is hosted in the d drive log space total that database got created with 8 mb and auto growth is 64 mb okay now what i will do to simulate this scenario uh, like uh, we want to log we should not want log file full first it uh, so that's the reason i am setting this into simple recovery model so that whenever the log file full good uh, it will face move the changes to the data file okay and i am turning off the data growth so file growth to zero for data file okay i'm just executing that it is done so i have inter configured internal threads so that's the reason uh, you are getting like this okay uh, now i am taking uh, whenever the database got created for the first thing what we sh should do is to take the backup okay why because to the recovery model uh, to work as what we set okay now use test now i am going to create one table call with these three columns id name location now i am inserting uh, this um, one record into 50000 times in the loop okay meanwhile what i am going to do here is i am declaring with the variables and i am going to see the sizes file growth so to avoid the disturbance i use the variables so generally we use this command okay what is the command dbcc uh, sql perf comma log space we use this command so uh, to avoid the disturbance and everything for all the databases i took that output into variables and i am filtering only the database now if i see here test okay see 85% 85% it is done okay the log file went to up to 135 mb and it got 80 for uh, 85% got utilized now if i see the count here total 50000 is there now i am going to insert again why because i need that error now see if i keep on refreshing this value see it got see whenever it got it is again flushing to the data file now see whenever these got changes right so since it is data file got didn't get alert see it is not changing so how oh, it got completed now i am inserting one more rig time total i think oh, for 150000 oh, we used to get an alert why because by that time that all uh, space got full now if i see here new query yeah now it's got completed now if i see some errors okay now what i am going to do i am going to uh, insert one more time see i got the error okay what is that could not allocate space for objects uh, db test in the, this is the error when the log file got full okay so now we got this error now this is the error what we have received now we want to configure the alert for the same 
now what we need to do go expand server uh, agent go to alerts now we got this i am just starting deleting the old one now new alert see if you see here whenever the data file full got we got this written number okay you just copy this number and go to here and type that data file full okay and some error number we know that right so now if i click that if you want to specify some error message if even though this is the error if you want to require some text then only you got the alert you can also do that as of now we don't require go to response so what we should do if it's a log file we can take the log backup if it is like you want to uh, send the disk if i click uh, if the what should it do uh, it is like uh, if it is a log file we, we used to get the take the log backup here or otherwise if we create a new job and we, uh, we will call that whenever this alert triggered it will run that job it is like uh, whenever the data file full got i used to get the all the server disk space details in the email handy okay so that i cannot i came to know whether the disk file got for insertions or other disk is full so then uh, i used to get to know that okay so this is the one thing i don't require execute job i need to notify so what is that operator you just come here new give the team ddl here okay so whoever in the shift they will take care of that in the dba team i uh, i am having uh, email id what is the main pager uh, if you see the movie called pushpa you will get to know that like uh, one of his colleague has sent him that uh, he was in danger right so in the us most of the people nowadays still somebody are using pager okay if you call the company they once forward the message they will forward the message to them so if you want to have the page num page you can add the page pager here in india nobody will use the pager okay now we will get notify now come to options so if we don't include this option whatever you we get here okay uh, we don't get that if i check if i check this box whatever say, error that you are seeing here the same thing you will get in the um, uh, this thing okay in the email body now you whatever the content um, the data file has been full uh, please follow the sop so this is the what so what is the, this mean by delay response means for example if i click here there are some more colleagues if i click that execute you will get this error another guy is also trying to insert the data then also within no time whenever the user get immediately for example two uh, uh, 15 guys are inserting the data then you will get emails now it's always better to configure or five or 15 it's all depends uh, you are like uh, how um, since to the client and businesses so for now i'm for time being i am giving the delay response as a five okay so otherwise i will kept as a zero only um, now click ok done I, I have done now go to sql server agent come to properties now uh, come to here where your default it should be like this enable this small uh, checkbox uh, select select the right profile id in my case it is a dba team that i have configured given as a name like that db mobile now you just include that the body of having uh, just leave it here and th this option you have to select uh, like uh, consider this as a one of the best practice why this has been used whenever we want to pass some variables or runtime values and you want to convert into text that so at that time it will be very useful for us okay now this is done okay now now i want to get the same error in the email id so what i should do now i just want to uh, insert some more data here if i insert here like this done 
see again I got the issue within no time I got this email see this is the date time when it got occurred this is the issue and this is on this server I got the issue Lenovo instance this is how you got the uh, I mean you you have to troubleshoot I mean you have to configure sorry uh, you have to configure the data file full and one more thing here okay so here state level is 17 okay it means whenever you configure alert here come here down instead of giving error number I will go to severity from severity see insufficient resources it means when whatever in insufficient resources uh, it will say SQL server is encountering you will get that issue whether it's a log file or data file or whatever it could be you will get that so in the interview most of the uh, sometimes uh, some engineers who are having uh, interviews who are having my deep experience they want to instead of checking the, the traditional like things so uh, everybody will ask they will ask you one thing some how many errors are there in SQL Server and how you are, will see these many errors exist in SQL Server for that we have one command select star from uh, sys dot sys messages sys messages uh, here we have this mem this many if I do that totally how many I am having I will let you know so there are so many see there are 3 lakhs 46,000 500 errors but wait here so they are language language ID is there okay what is the language here one three under now where message message ID is equal to one three double three now if I see here now total they are uh, in SQL server they are 15,000 750 errors are there in SQL Server okay again in that again in that and severity severity is equal to 17 see insufficient memory okay there is timeout uh, unless I could not use this database tempdb log file see these many errors that means 195.7 errors you will get everything insuff wherever insufficient will be there you will then you will get this error okay so so it's always better to configure specific error number if you are if you configured with uh, uh, CVRT 7 with the number of CVRT 17 so it's unnecessary errors that we cannot do anything in the SQL server okay so these are our, like we need to take care of that I'm going to give the script in the comment box you can get it from there I hope uh, you may like my initiative thank you bye